Good morning, it's Christina from Hourwood Home. So today I'm showing um, this really easy, not really a tutorial, but this way that I have found to help um, control the frizz in my hair and the amount of oil because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it maybe every two or three days and it's been a process to get to that point, but now um, the only issue I have is a little bit of oiliness at the roots and today is actually hair washing day. I could probably go another day, but I'm not really going to chance that. Um, so what I do to control the oil is actually use a special brush. It's called a Boar Bristle Brush, I believe. Um, this one is Goody brand and I got it from Walmart. So if you have never used this brush before, it can be kind of uh, not intimidating, but kind of weird and takes some getting used to. So I thought I would make a quick video and show you exactly what to do with this kind of brush. So, like I mentioned, I have not washed my hair. Um, this is, my hair is naturally curly and wavy, but this is what it looks like in the morning after sleeping on it. So I haven't washed it, haven't brushed it, haven't done anything. Um, and typically I do this hair brushing routine in the evening before bed, um, because if I brush my hair when it's curly, it gets straighter, and I don't really like that. So let's get started. Um, as I said, I'm using a boar bristle brush, and I like to do my hair in um, sections, so I'm just going to put the top half up in a flexi clip. So what you want to do is use small sections, um, depending on if you have thick or very long hair, because this brush is not a detangling brush. It's just meant to distribute the oils. So start right at the root in a small section and slowly pull the brush down to the hair or down the hair all the way to the roots because you want the oil to go from your or sorry you're pulling the oil down from your scalp at the roots right down to the end so that if there's any dryness on the end of your hair you are naturally moisturizing it instead of having to use a conditioner or a leave-in treatment. Um, so I like to do each section a couple times just to make sure all the oils are distributed evenly. So here we go again. Sometimes uh, if I do this in the evening and my hair is still curly from the day, I will brush my hair with just a regular brush just because this one doesn't detangle. Um, but if you do not have naturally curly or wavy hair, you might just be able to go straight to brushing with this. So I do this all the way around, even at the back, um, which you can't see, but let's pretend I did that. And then I just do a few more sections at a time. And this takes me about five minutes um, every night if I'm doing it carefully and slowly. So it's not a very long process. But the benefit to doing this, as I mentioned, is uh, moisturizing the ends of your hair because if anybody has dry hair, the parts that are dry are the ends. It's not the roots, obviously. So I don't know how much truth there is to this, but I have read on the internet, and we all know if somebody says it on the internet, it must be true. So I've read that... Um, the reason people have such oily hair sometimes is because they're actually stripping their hair of its natural moisture. Um, and that happens through excessive washing, using um, harsh uh, shampoos or treatments, stuff like that. So when you wash your hair every single day, um, you're actually stripping away any natural moisture your hair has and that your hair, your scalp kind of freaks out um, and tries to overcompensate for the dryness that you have created by overwashing uh, and it compensates by producing way more oil. So you kind of have a, a weird cycle where your hair is oily so you wash it but it just gets more oily and that's because it's trying to compensate for the lack of natural oils. So I, like I said, I wash my hair a couple times a week. Um, it's taken me, 
it took me about a month to get into a good routine um, just because it's such a change for my hair and my scalp. So um, when I started doing that, it looked pretty gross for a while, but as you can see, I think it's pretty tolerable now. Um, it's a little puffy just from brushing, but I could go out with hair like this. Um, so anyways, when you stop washing your hair as much, your hair can kind of relax and it begins to self-regulate the amount of oils it produces. So my hair isn't that oily in general anymore because I've stopped um, treating it so harshly and stripping it. The only time I do get oil right here that's really excessive is if um, my hair is hanging down in my face and I keep brushing it away because it's kind of at an awkward length now. Um, but that's about it. And I highly recommend anybody uh, switching to just washing a couple times a week and helping to treat the ends of your hair using the Bore Bristle Brush. Um, it's cheaper because you're using less shampoo and it's better for your hair. And as some of you know, last year I had a very short pixie cut. Uh, I'll link to a photo of that in the description on the video. But this is about... Oh, I started growing my hair last June, so June, July 2015, and then this is um, the growth that I've had since then. And I have had a couple trims just to reshape my hair, but a lot of people ask me, like, how do you get your hair so long? How did it grow so fast? And I think it's because I don't treat it with any um, harsh shampoos and I don't strip its natural oils, so it's pretty healthy. And even my hairdresser has always said my hair is very healthy, but now it's even healthier um, since I am treating it a little better and I think if your hair is healthier it's going to grow faster and be more cooperative so I highly recommend um, reducing the amount that you wash your hair and also reconsidering what sort of shampoos you're using. Um, I used to use a um, vegetable glycerin bar of soap when my hair was short but I found that since it's gotten longer it is very difficult to rinse out so I don't do that as much well, I don't actually do it ever. Um, I will admit the shampoo that I use is actually dish soap. Um, it is Greenworks brand by Clorox and it kind of started off as an accident that I was using it because I ran out of um, soap and all we had in the house was dish soap and I really needed to wash my hair so I used it. It worked so well. Um, it's probably not the best for your hair, but this brand is sulfate-free, phosphate-free, has no dyes and extra fragrances, so I mean it works for me. Um, I can't say it'll work for everybody and honestly the only reason I use it is because it's very inexpensive and I can't justify using a $10 bottle of shampoo, so that's a rant for another day, but anyways. Um, that's all I wanted to say about the bristle brush. I highly recommend you use it. Um, if you do have any breakage on your ends, you can either get those trimmed, which I think most stylists recommend, but I also suggest doing this method to kind of supplement um, any other treatments you're doing. I also like to do hot oil treatments, literally heat up some vegetable or olive oil in the microwave, um, and then I will carefully dip the ends in, rub it in a bit, just the ends where it's dry, and then I'll wrap my hair up like this, put it in a hot towel, and let it sit for about half an hour, and then just wash it out as usual. So anyways, that's enough rambling. I will talk more about natural hair care and hairstyles in another video, so thank you for watching, and I hope that you find this tutorial slash me just talking for a while video helpful. Um, I would love to know what you think in the comments. Thank you.